ya kuitazama habari zetu za Look Up Weekend. Tuendelee kukutaarifu mengi zaidi kwenye siasa ni kuwa baraza la kitaifa la chama cha Jubilee limetangaza kumsimamisha kazi mara moja katibu mkuu wa chama hicho Jeremiah Kioni na naibu mwenyekiti David Murathe. Chama hicho kimesema hatua hiyo imejiri baada ya wawili hao kuendelea kuchukua maamuzi ya kibinafsi bila kuzingatia msimamo wa chama. Aidha Jubilee kime imeanzisha rasmi mchakato wa kujitoa katika muungano wa upinzani azimio na kama na report mwana habari wetu Henry Tende kanini Kega ameteuliwa kushikilia nafasi iliyoachwa wazi na Jeremiah Kioni hadi uchaguzi wa uongozi wa chama hicho uandaliwe katika muda wa miezi sita ijayo Msimamo wa uongozi wa muungano wa upinzani kwa hautambui serikali ya Rais William Ruto na kuridhia kwa ndami kutano ya hadhara kupinga uongozi wake umezidi kuyumbisha dau la muungano huo. Chama cha Jubilee ambacho ni moja kati ya vyama tanzu ndani ya azimio sasa kimewasimamisha kazi katibu mkuu wa chama hicho Jeremiah Kioni pamoja na naibu mwenyekiti David Morathe. The following party officials are suspended forthwith and their cases referred to the party internal dispute resolution mechanism for further determination one the secretary general honorable jeremiah kioni two the national treasurer mr kagwe gichohi three the national vice chairman honorable david murathe Kitumbua cha Kioni na Muraza kikiingia mchanga baada ya Rais William Ruto kukutana na wabunge 30 walioteuliwa katika tiketi ya chama cha Jubilee na baadhi ya wabunge wa chama cha ODM. Wadadisi wa kisiasa wakihoji mikutano hiyo ni mikakati ya Rais William Ruto kuuzima moto wa kinaro Azimio Raila Odinga na kumnyima misuli ya kuendeleza upinzani dhidi ya serikali. Maazimio ya leo ya chama cha Jubilee yakidhihirisha matunda ya mikutano hiyo kwani wawili hao wameonekana kusimama kidete ndani ya azimio sababu moja wapo ambayo imefanya Jeremia Kioni to akue suspended ni kwenda kuongea maneno ambayo sio msimamo wa chama sisi kama Jubilee hatuungi mkono mambo ya masufuria mambo ya maandamano mambo ya mabaraza let Kioni know Jubilee party is not his own kiosk. He has never called us for any PG. He has never given us a party direction. So when he wakes up from his bed, he cannot expect that we will follow him. The Supreme Court as a neutral arbiter made a decision and declared the His Excellency President William Ruto as the winner. And therefore any other shenanigan right now by anybody to say they don't believe in the results and purporting to present to Kenyans something that they cooked in River Road does not make sense Baraza la wajumbe wa Jubilee likiazimia kumteua kanini Kega kama kaimu katibu mkuu hadi uchaguzi uandaliwe From now this hour this minute it has been resolved that honorable Kanini Kega will be the acting secretary general of Jubilee party pending a convention of the national delegates convention na ili kulemaza shughuli za azimio chama cha jubilee kimetangaza kuanza rasmi mchakato wa kujitoa katika muungano huo wa upinzani pending the, con the convening of the special national delegates convention one that the national executive uh, committee commences the process of exiting the azimio coalition Aidha Jubilee kimetangaza kuanzia sasa kinatambua uongozi wa Rais William Ruto na kitaunga mkono mipango yote ya serikali. The National Executive Committee engages with the ruling coalition on the possibility of creating a working cooperation arrangement with it. Muungano wa upinzani azimio umejipata katika njia panda baada ya viongozi wanachama wake kuonekana hadharani wakichumbiwa na Rais William Ruto. Hatua ya chama cha Jubilee kiwa msumari wa moto katika masaibu ya muungano huo na haijulikani ni vipi utaendeleza shughuli zake huku nguvu zake zikidindimia kila uchao Henry Tende Look Up TV